Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful lacy royal seed beads earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them. You could also ask me anything in the comments if you have any troubles making them. And the materials are also really easy, only seed beads and standard earring findings that you could find in any beading store. So if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't. And in this way, you will be inspired often, usually twice a week with new tutorials. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where, by the way, you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on Facebook and Instagram pages. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips and don't forget to subscribe, like and share and you don't know how much of a support this is. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 seed beads, chameleon and silver. You could use other contrasting colors of your choice or you could use 10 seed beads. Here I use earring findings. This is Naimo nylon thread which is size D. 0.2 millimeters of thickness. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and I'm going to pick up 12 of these beautiful silver beads. Okay guys and I have my 12 on my needle and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of this thread. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I'm going to pull gently and then I will make one more knot and pull again. Okay guys now this is what I have and I will go through three more beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take three of these beautiful silver beads and I'm going back in circle through this seed bead that I'm exiting out of. And then I pull. Okay, now I have this. In my next step, I'm going through the next silver. And you see here I have a cross of four beads and I added three beads to make this cross because here I already have one bead in the inner circle. Now I want to make another cross of four but I already have one bead from the inner circle and one bead from this element that I already did. And I'm going to take two beads and when I go through these two I will make another cross. Of four beads. You see I still have four beads here. If it's too complicated for you just follow the steps without the explanation that I gave you. Okay I go through the following seed bead and I need two seed beads. Okay two and go through these two and if you can in one movement also go through the following silver just like this. Then again two and go through these two and through the one after that. So I will have crosses of four until the end of this row but these crosses will share beads between them. Okay. And I'm going to continue this until the last step, which will be a little bit different.
Okay, guys, and I'm here at my last step. And you see here uh, what I have. I have one, two, three beads. And in order to make a cross, I will need to add only one. You see here, in order to have the same thing like here, what I need to do is go through this seed bead that is from the first element that I did then take one seed bead and go through this one that is from the last element that I did and when I go like this I have the cross of four sharing beads with the other crosses around okay so uh, let me remind you what I'm doing in my first step when I start this row I take three beads and I make a cross of four in the next steps I add two beads at each step and at the last step I add only one bead okay now I go here through this silver and I'm taking one chameleon bead and I'm going here through this one then again I'm taking a chameleon and I'm going here take another chameleon and I go here and this is a really pleasant and really nice row I will continue this and I'll be back okay guys and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last seed bead from this row now I'm exiting out of this silver bead and I'm going to pick three silvers just like this and I'm going back through this silver here okay now I go through the next chameleon and exit out of the next silver here I'm going to take three silvers again go back and go in the next silver then again three and I'm going here in this silver and if you can in one movement aim for the next silver okay and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row this time the whole time I add three beads okay so now what I'm going to do is go through this silver and go through this silver here okay I'm exiting out of this silver at the top and what I want to do is flip my work because I prefer to work in this direction as I'm right-handed if you prefer you could work in the other direction okay so I'm taking now a silver a chameleon and a silver and I'm going in the next silver then again a silver a chameleon a silver go in the next silver and again a silver a chameleon a silver and go here okay guys and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and I'm here at my last step where I want to add my last three beads from this row and pay attention where you go here through this silver don't make the mistake to go through the upper silver Okay, now what I do next is exit out of this chameleon bead, just like that. And here I need to add five silver beads. Okay, five. Now in my next step, I'm going through the other chameleon bead here. Okay, like this. Then another five. Okay, go here, another five, go here. 
Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row and I go through this chameleon again. And now I'm going to make an additional row which will be only adding a new thread pad. And how it looks, I go through two beads in this direction I skip this central bead that's on my way and I go through the next two beads and even through the chameleon in one movement if you can. Now I will pull this middle bead a little bit and I pull it and I have an angle. Then again go through two beads, skip the angle bead and go through the next three. If it goes to the inner side, just pull it out with your needle like this. You see how beautiful it looks now. Now I will go through two seed beads, skip the angle one which is in the middle and I go here through these beads. Pull this one a little bit to the outside, just like this. Okay, and I will continue this until the end. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video from here and repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay, meet you here in a while. And now I'm here at my last step where I'm making the last angle of my work. Okay, and then what I want to do is go here in this direction through this seed bead and now I prefer to flip my work just like this and I'm going to take now three chameleon beads okay three and I skip these three beads at the angle and I go here through this silver that is the middle of this tree on this side or that is one bead before the angle bead. Okay, this is what I have now. Then again here I go through the angle bead and through the next one. And I take three seed beads like this. Then I skip these three silver, chameleon silver, and I go here. then go through these two take three and then here okay and i will continue this until the end of this row and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and here i am at my last place where I'm adding my last three chameleon beads just like this. Now what I want to do is exit through one of the chameleons that is sticking out the most. Okay, through this one let's say. And now I'm going to pick up seven seed beads. Okay, I have my seven here. And as I'm exiting through one of the chameleon beads, I'm going through the other one. Okay, like this. Then I'm going to take seven more. Okay, seven. And I go here through this chameleon. Then again, seven. And I go through the next chameleon. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you the next step. Okay, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last seven bead beads. And here what I want to do is make another angle like I did in the previous row. How I do this, I go this time through three beads. I skip the next one which is the middle of my seven and I go through the next three and through the chameleon bead as well. 
then I pull this bit in the center and I make an angle okay I'll show you again go through three beads pull skip this one that's on my way go through three more plus the chameleon bead and an angle is formed and I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself go through three skip the one that's on my way and go through these three silvers and one chameleon if the angle is not formed pull this bit and do this okay i'll do this until the end of this row and when i'm ready i'll be back okay and i'm here almost at my last step and i repeat the same thing go through three beads skip the angle bit okay pull it then in my next step what i want to do is go here and exit out of the angle and now i'm going to take my earring finding and i will attach it by taking one seed bead my earring finding and then again one seed bead okay this is what i take and i go back here through this seed bead okay now i have this and i'm going to reinforce this and by the way you could go on the edge of your work also reinforcing it if you feel it's not tight enough or hard enough okay don't use monofilament for this work use nylon thread or fire line or wildfire okay and now as i reinforced this several times i want to make a knot and i prefer to make it here at the angle and how i do this i make here a loop and i go once then i go second time through this loop i've made and i pull then i go in the following seed bead and what i want to do here is cut this thread and now guys i have this beautiful earring ready okay and now my royal lacy seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell, bell button if you still haven't and in this way you will know when i post new videos usually two times a week and you will be inspired often down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel link to all my social networks where by the way you are invited to share the beautiful works that you did following my tutorials mainly on facebook and instagram you could also check my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching bye bye from me